Hey Rimworlders, it is JPT back here at Midas 2, Midas D, as I like to call it, with Ronnie, Brad, and Ellie. And it's been a long time since I've actually played this particular, oops, smack my microphone, played this particular um, game save, I guess is the best way to put it. I've been playing a lot of the first Midas off camera, and some really funny things have happened since then, and I might actually visit those in a special video, just to kind of catch you guys up. It's the same one that I ended up live streaming a while ago, so you can actually go back and watch about, I think it's about three hours worth of just weird stuff there, and there's so much stuff that's happened since then, so I almost feel bad, but I may go ahead and kind of wait on that one and live stream that one again, so you guys can kind of catch up, because it's it's pretty pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, we need uh, a meal source, and that's what uh, I think we're working on somewhere here. There we go. There's our cook stove. So we got our fridge here. Got some food storage here. Of course, this is our food storage. Yep. Everything properly labeled. Got our medicine here, our medicine room with our prisoner stuff here, two additional bedrooms for expansion, and that may actually... I had, I had what, eight people? I think I have eight people at my other one. It's kind of crazy. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I get that confused with timber and stone sometimes. <laughs> my bad. But I think it's, yeah, it's like, it's a significant amount of people, and it's ridiculous. So, uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on here. So, it seems like uh, Ellie's doing some research. What are you researching? Stone cutting. I actually might want to change that. To hydroponics. Mm, let's see. Is there anything else that... Um, pneumatic picks, actually, is probably something. But uh, stone cutting is still important to me. Brad, he's consuming meals for days. I want them to be able to eat stuff. So once he's done eating... We'll get him to do that. Looks like you're probably going to rest. Yep. Go ahead and cut those trees down. Double time. He's going to be like, I hate eating on the floor. Mm. Oh no, he's an optimist. But he also ate off the ground. So he's stargazing. Sorry, buddy. You're working on that wood table. Doing pretty good so far in uh, energy storage. Uh, you could always do better, of course. Planning on building something there for that. Uh, something else that I want to plan on building is growth. Since it's April, we could do Devil Strand. And I'm going to try something that I actually saw. Somebody else talked about this. A lot of people are apparently talking about this. Is to take... So, like, that's a 9x9. Nine nine. Kind of taking a... I don't think we'll actually be able to fit it like so. Plus, we're going to need an energy source. So, I almost want to do like a... Uh, what is that? Oops, what does that give me? What are you doing, Brad? Stargazing. Okay, I was like, you're not coming over here. That's a four. Uh, we might bump it over. Let's see. Structure... Yeah, we'll move it over, so that way you can kind of get around it a little bit. Also, ex see, this is a blessing and a curse all at the same time. Um, what I want to do is I want to put a heater in here, so this actually will need to be a little bit bigger. So essentially what you'll do is you'll put a battery, a heater, and that way if you get, um, I, it doesn't make much sense to me because you would think it would go away, but um, you build a door, you put a battery in here, um, you put a heater in here, and then your devil strand won't freeze, or at least has a better possibility of not freezing uh, when stuff goes down, so I guess that's the way to do it. Let me know in the comments if I'm insane, but 
uh, temperature, like we put a heater there, and then power wise, we'd put like a battery here. And if you get like a solar flare, I don't, it doesn't solar flares though, like knock out all your energy. So I don't know. It, I guess it's so you don't use hydroponics. So there's a better chance of you not killing your devil strand this way than it is the other way, I guess is what they're trying to say. Um, which makes sense. So we'll do a three by five. We're going to grow some devil strand. I've never successfully grown devil strand, but this is a way that uh, someone was describing it. So we'll put a battery here and I guess like a solar thing next to it. We could do a wind turbine, but see how much area that takes. Seems kind of insane to dedicate that much space to it. And I'm going to put this here, actually. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll do it like that. So what did I want to do here? Was this for sun lamps? I'm going to cancel this one until I realize why I wanted batteries over here. It makes me actually think, should we just do it here? Now that I see this. Hmm. I'm going to cancel that, put it there instead. Of course, we still need power out here. This is probably going to blow up in the middle of a storm. It's just what I need. So let's go ahead and get a roof over this thing. There we go. And actually, cancel that because that'll be a door. And that will be a door. So let's see. Ronnie... You've got a gun, Brad, and you're just not so evil. Um, yeah, I work on that short table. If I can build a table and chairs and you guys not have like a minor panic attack about it, about eating off the floor, more power to me. That's how I feel about it. And actually, I don't think I want to do a stool. I think I want to do beauty wise. I think I want to build the dining chairs because they're, if you actually look at the beauty of them, it's 11 compared to six. So it's like you're almost doubling down in I mean, the amount of wood is pretty crazy, but I think ultimately in the long run, it's worth it. So we're actually going to have Ronnie hopefully be able to build at least one of these. Because right now, he's pretty close. So now we actually have a dining chair. But, you know, most people don't eat at the same time. Your initial colony thing so we'll just do that indoors is 59 so these temperatures are fairly regulated one of the really cool things that happened actually and let me go ahead and uh oh psychic drone every colonist in the male gender winces in pain that's not good I wonder where that's coming from there's always one mysterious place probably up here yeah there's bad stuff up here most likely of course, we got the bodies up there. I did open up uh, <laughs> that other one in the original map. Oh, yeah, there's also stuff here, too. Um, there was stuff in there, and it was pretty pretty nasty. Pretty nasty stuff. But, uh, but, yeah, I wonder... Let me pull up my Twitter and, tell you, and show you something really cool. I actually had uh, Tynan Sylvester actually reply to me based on one of my tweets. So I'll show it to you right now. Uh, basically, I said, any chance that we will be able to open slash close in-game vents in the future? That sure would be handy. And he wrote back, I think this weakness makes them more interesting. But, hmm. Pretty cool stuff that he replied back. The developer of this game that I love so much. So thank you, sir, for sort of 
piquing my curiosity. I, uh, I definitely appreciate that. Okay, so she's cutting down those trees because she wants to grow the devil strand. It's growing at 100%. It always does initially, but then it goes downhill from there. So Ronnie is cloud watching. Do I have just somebody straight up constructing? Ellie is supposed to be doing that, but she's a grower first. Um, I think I want Brad to cut first, construct second. So you're cooking first and you're hauling. But I really just need somebody to construct. So Ronnie, that is you, sir. That is you. Where do you go? Deconstructing the steel wall. They will deconstruct uh, faster than they will construct. Or like that's the, I guess that's the priority structure of, of the work at hand. Which I'm okay with. So now what is he doing? He's building the cook stove. Perfect. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause that because I don't need the cook stove to catch on fire. We've been there, done that. So I'm actually gonna build this section and uh, go from here. So let's see. Uh, door here. I guess we'll put the door there just so that we can get this closed off. And I guess we'll need to power this up too. So another thing that I was thinking about was sort of building, um, let's see, is building out here and storing and storing batteries in this kind of room. So um, this of course is eight, so there's not gonna be a possible thing, but since we'll be getting so much power from this and also these, we could just store our energy here and then pipe it over. So we know we're gonna wanna run basically power conduit from here over and then from here we can go pretty much wherever we want so I think from here we'll just do one of these things and I don't know I think that's close enough and if not we can always go from there but Ronnie is resting sounds good and Ellie um Research isn't as important as working on these wood walls. As long as Brad keeps cutting down the trees, we'll be all set. Or wait, does say wood? Ah, uh, wait a second. I don't want to construct wood floor. I want to construct a. Oh, the floor. Yeah, there will be floor there. <laughs> there will be floor. That's okay. Um, yeah. Get that wood wall up. Um, construct the door. The floor is my, like, lowest priority. Kind of micromanaging people sucks, but it is what it is. So she's going to cut down that tree. Because, again, you don't want this to, uh, be getting zapped. So she's resting now. Brad's picking up the meal. He's gonna nom nom on that right here. So he's no longer going to uh, eat on the floor. So he's still sleeping outside, but you know, it is what it is. He's in a little pain, because he's old. But for the most part, everyone is doing okay. This is kind of where I want these people to start. But again, the sooner we get them sort of sheltered, the better for me. Yeah, and the growth rate on this is kind of going up, actually. The temperature rises. So, good deal. Let's see, let's haul those two things. Get those out of the way. Uh oh somebody's building something. Ronnie. He's on it. Way to go, Ronnie. Building that floor for me. So the environment's not super ugly. Um, I want you to go ahead and just build these walls. 
There you go. Killing it. I kind of like the fact that these trees are here because they cut down the tree and then they use the wood for that, which is pretty nice. What is... What's that other noise? Ah. Brad is building concrete. Good job. Construct the wall. He's on it. He's just constructing everything. Falling wood to the steel butcher table. Interesting. I didn't realize that took wood. Huh. Sweet. Actually, we need to cut down these trees, don't we? We'll go ahead and cut down that tree as well. Go ahead and mark the ones inside the cooler. Yeah, we got some wood down here, which is good. But the sooner we get a roof on here, the better. He's a pretty good builder. I mean, he we haven't had to sort of tell him too many things. Okay, so he's already doing that. Why don't we work on that one? I'd be okay with that. Let's go ahead and make sure that uh, he's still in a good mood, which he is. Look at that. He's just cranking her out. Why don't you come over here? Work on this wood wall. Let's check in with everybody else. Ellie's still researching. Brad is cutting down them trees just as we want. Let's see. Actually, let me close this. So I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 lately, and I just installed mods. I went down the dark rabbit hole. So I'll be talking more about that in future episodes. Uh, I've recorded a huge batch of those. And so I've been doing those, uh, I've been two-a-daying those for a long time. And I think I'm going to go to sort of one-a-days with some two-a-day specials. Thinking about doing a three-a-day th three -a Thanksgiving special? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So Brad is kind of not the night owl that we thought he would be, which is fine. Cargo pods, sweet. Oh, meat. Cobra flesh. It's just kind of far away. That's all right. Let's not forget about that. Um, I'm going to have Ellie go get that. As a matter of fact, where'd it go? Where's my cobra flesh? All the cobra flesh. I mean, it's it's not refrigerated. But maybe somebody will be able to make some meals out of it now that we have a cook stove. That is the great hope. Of course, we also need to build a light in both of these locations. And we need defenses. We just need a lot of things. That's just sort of what happens with early colonies. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So we've got minus two. But we're in the middle of episode... What is it? RimWorld 71? in progress. You can see that I've saved the original Midas quite a bit. And I've played it all times of the night. And I save frequently. <laughs> multiple saves. Because I'm weird. What are you doing, Ronnie? Disturbed sleep. That's alright. He's hungry, so he'll wake up and eat. Ellie ate the last meal. You jerk. Why is that highlighted? Oh, because he's maxed it out. I've never seen a maxed out skill like that. That's amazing. So Ronnie's a cook first. Brett is doing his due diligence. Um, can you work on the power conduit, actually? I don't let them relax socially early on. i kind of like, hey, we've got things to do here. Work on that floor. Or that wood wall. And this should close this off. Yep, now we got a roof over our heads here. Ellie's doing the biz. Construct on that light. Construct the power conduit. Okay, so that's lit up. You'll get there, Ellie. 
There we go. Come on, keep going. You're almost there. You're almost there. Well, she used that for something else. Oh, he's training. That's cool. I've never seen that. I've never actually had somebody legitimately try to train something. That's pretty awesome. Psychic drone is ending. Thank goodness. Wow, Ellie, you went pretty far to get that steel. I appreciate that. Oh. There we go. No, you crackhead. Pick that up. Ugh. I guess she only uses what she needs. It's kind of interesting. Okay, cool. So now Ronnie will be able to cook. And Ellie's trying to rest, but I want that cobra flesh for meals. I knew there'd still be tons of it out there. I knew there'd still be tons of it out there. So let's see if, outside of resting, Ronnie will switch to cooking in the morning. And then he'll cook some stuff. We just need to add a bill. So we'll add a bill, cook a simple meal, um, do until we have, I'd say 40 is always the number I go for. Um, or I always do 10 per person, but I think I'm going to do 8 per person. So that's 8, 16, 24. So 30, I'm going to round it up. 25. Let's just go for 25. So in the morning, he will uh, take care of that for us. Which is pretty awesome. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling confident enough to hunt. We do need this though. Let's see if we can get Brad to work on that steel butcher table. Which, ironically enough, we only need four. And we have four right here. Brad, can you build that for us? Because we'll add another build to that as well. We'll try to work him to the point where he's working at night. Anybody have, actually our hunter? Ellie is a secondary hunter. We'll go ahead and make her do that. So yeah, Ronnie's now cooking the simple meal. Which is awesome. Right, he's old. He's 71. And let's add a bill to this. Butcher creature. Forever. Always, always do that. And I don't think there's anything here that we wouldn't do it. Uh, we have eaten people before, and that freaks people out. So, there's that. Cannot butcher steel. Oh, because there's no actual butchering of anything. Okay. And now he's resting. So is Ellie. So he's on the right sleep cycle. She is not. And we've got this dog here. He's still getting training. Maybe also if we get the dog to actually rescue people. Cool. Now we have all these survival meals. I'm actually going to have him haul these back. Because he's right there. Because why not? Did we haul everything else from over here? Looks like we did. That's good. So now he's making those. And they're, they're not refrigerated. But it is what it is. So it's going to spoil in four days. So we really need to work on getting this going. Um, but I really, really want to wait until I can do stone so that it has better cooling properties. So what I'm going to do on these is I'm going to say these are off limits. Eat off of these first. And hopefully they'll listen for the next four days. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, power will also be able to run pretty much straight from here all the way down. So it'll be inside buildings for the most part and get it to this comm unit. So that's probably the next thing we want to go ahead and do is kind of run a loop of power, you know, around here. Let's see. I guess we'll be running it this way. It won't hurt anything to run it down in this way. Actually, I hate that when you hit cancel. It cancels out the plans as well. 
Let's do it this way. And then down. Uh, that should be close enough, right? I think it should. We'll write it down that way. Yeah, let's see. That's eight, so we'll have to figure out where that one's going to go. That's seven. So we'll remove the plan there. And I think that was... We'll just use this entrance to get in here. There's a secondary bedroom. So he's cooking a simple meal, which probably means he's going and getting more meat. Yes, okay. Cool. Oh, there's steel over here, too. So Ellie's relaxing socially, and Brad is training the dog, it looks like. Training dumpling. That's, that's really cool. Food and rest. Doing good, health-wise. Um, you can get herbal medicine. You're our dog. I don't know why you wouldn't. Trainable intelligence is advanced. Oh, sweet. So he's obedient now. Good job, Brad. Wow. That's really cool. This animal can be released to attack distant targets instead of just defending the master. That's awesome. So when Brad gets attacked, which is great because he's like the most like non-violent person ever, the dog will go after him. I like that. And I think it's a good note to end this particular episode. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. And until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games, and I'll be seeing you.